Link, what are you doing disturbing these kids and their hot sweaty balls that are just that they're tossing to each other? I don't know, Link. It is it is terrible. It's ter it's absolutely terrible. You shouldn't be doing that. Anyway, welcome back to Link's Awakening. Last time, Link helped Richard and went into his slime hole to retrieve the Pegasus boots, which is like one of the best items, and the next instrument as well. And Link also allowed Mario to touch his stick to to take Grandma off off the tree. And now we have successfully we we have gr a Grandma in our inventory. So this was an absolutely disgusting beginning to this game, but um, yeah. Something else I have got I got this like two 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 parts ago, but that potion right there that is below that is to the left of the honeycomb gr uh, Grandma. That we, we got that from Crazy Tracy. That revives us if we die. It pretty much fills up our health if, we, if we're about to die. So we have like a little bit of a backup. Anyway, I wanted to, to, to go in here with the library. And there's a book up there. The mysterious book. Well, how do we bring this book down? Well... There we go. Let's see what this book has to say. Do you want to read this book? Yes, I do. It must be a mysterious book. Hmm. New world of color under the five gravestones. Okay. So that is our clue as to what to do here. So, so we want to um, keep note of the order that this is. So one, two, three, four, five. So it starts in the bottom and kind of goes counter. Actually, no, it just goes clockwise. But it's also the order by which they're actually showing there. Try with all your might. Open a new path. Whoever is worthy receives the power of color. I wonder what the world of color is. Hmm. Well, I guess we, we better go to the graveyard and find out what this world of color actually is. So this is a feature that's only in the DX version. Move it, Bow Wow. Move it. So let us head over to the graveyard. We gotta get this amazingness. Yes. The graveyard, I believe, is right up here. Yep, it is. Okay, yep, here it is. Now, we, we we can kill those ghosts, but they're extremely hard to be able to kill. First, do with this first. So, we, we there's a secret area under the tombstone here. Now, technically, we shouldn't be doing this yet. We actually could have done this a little earlier as well, because... Many cracks. There must be some way to shatter it. We could have actually done, done this just with the rock's feather earlier, but... There we go. We have been in this cave at one point. What we need to do... There we go. Got a piece of heart. I believe kind of what we have to do is we would need to like jump like that or something. I, I don't remember exactly, but... Yeah, this was the cave. Where does this connect exactly then? Oh, I want to say, darn it, Link. You're acting up. Wait a sec, wait, wait, wait. There we go. Okay, this is, is still kind of in the graveyard area. It's now that we got that. So this is the area, actually, that we need to f uh, focus on here. All these darn ghosts get out of here. There we go. We got a fairy. There we go. Okay. So, the order by which we should be pushing these. 
want to push this one down. I want to push this one to the left. I want to push this one up. Push this one to the right. Push this one up. Oh, a secret underground tunnel, huh? Here we go. Welcome to the color dungeon. As I said, only in the DX version of the game. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? It is blue, sir. Don't tell anyone. Do you have the power? If not, you must go back. Our colors are never the same. If I am red, he is blue. If he is red, I am blue. What color is my cloth? It is red. Don't tell anyone. The Fairy Queen is waiting for you. So this is the test, essentially, in order to actually get into this area. You, you, could, you could technically play Game Boy Color games on the original black and white Game Boy, but you would not have color. So this is your test in order to actually be able to get into this dungeon. Let us, let us, let's proceed. This is the colored du uh, dungeon. Made of, of, of many colorful tests that will be here. Hmm. We can't do anything here, it looks like. Actually, wait, 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 wait. Hmm. Right here, there's something special here. This is not on the map, but this is a reference to the first Z Zelda game and, and secret hidden one. So each one of these, I think, is five, right? Yeah, five. So we just got tons of rupees here. Look at that. We are increasing our, our bank tremendously. Tremendously. Bouncing, sir. We gotta pick pick these up and throw them into their proper hole. So this is really testing your ability to see what colors are, are which here. Darn. Because in order to actually complete these puzzles... Oh, nice. Don't be... In order to complete these puzzles, we have to see the colors. Oh, good. There we go. There we go. Just the way we like it. We got a key. Okay. We're not gonna go through there yet. Okay, let's actually go down first. So we want to go over here where that, uh, w that that first owl statue was. See what he says. Here is your clue. Make all the red blue. There we go. All we got to do is just hit the red. There we go. We got the compass. Awesome. We don't have a have a map yet so we can just we can just say there's only two more treasures left in the in in here so if we think of it like a normal dungeon one will be a map the other one will be a boss key unless you know maybe 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 it's not quite the same let's say yep here's your clue make all the red blue hmm let's say here's red Hit that one twice, and then... There we go. Very, very good. Another key for us. Okay. 
gewinnen. Oh. Boo. I am not... A, I am no weakling. Your pitiful sword is no match for me. You fool! Your sword won't work. Try something else. Wow! So yeah, we, we cannot use our sword here. We gotta use magic powder. Wow! Wow! Gosh, you're killing me, sir. Wow, wow! Give me a fairy, please. I need a fairy pronto. Thank you. Okay, well, we have something here. What did I fight this man so hard for? Oh, the boss key. There we go. Well, we know what the last treasure chest is. It's the map. Okay, so there's one more. There was there was one more locked locked door over by the down here. Some yeah, th there it is. Oh, n another boss! What a greedy fool! You want more power? A buffoon like you might as well give up and go home. Just start throwing bombs at him. You done dead! You done dead! Thank you, sir. So, two mini-bosses, huh? Interesting. Okay, one final... Sir, I'm gonna need... need... need you to fall or something. Keep dropping bombs. There you go. Okay, before we do that, I'm, I'm gonna go up here, let's see. There we go. Okay, so now now we have everything that we need here. Okay, so this... this... Oh gosh. Too many of these fools. Okay, what the heck happened there? What happened to the red one? Excuse me? That was weird. What the heck? I guess the red one, like, it glitched up and fell down through the hole. Well, we still got the, got the key. But that was weird. What the heck? Okay. Okay, so, let's say this is like the hardest puzzle, right? Here is your clue. Make all the red. Blue. Okay, let's, let's do it. Easy! All you had to do is just hit all of the actual red. <laughs> so I did it from here and I did it counter counterclockwise. <laughs> Good. Fill up on our hearts. Alright. Like we're at the boss now of this relatively short dungeon. Oh no, what are you? Blue is safe. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Blue. Start over. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. So yes, he will... You, you, you essentially hit him and then... 
There you go. And, and it just starts over if you're not able to get it, get enough hit, hits on him. So each time you you hit him, though, there's a bit of a re recoil. It kind of move moves you back. Okay, we gotta try this a different way. We gotta try to get him. There we go. Darn. Oh, we almost had him. Yellow is caution. Red is danger. Take your time. There we go. We did it. Thanks for the fairy. Okay, so what is our prize here? A stupid fairy? Oh, oh my gosh. Welcome, Link. I admire you for coming this far. I will give you the power of color. If you want offense, choose red. If you want defense, choose blue. Which power do you want? This essentially gives you pretty much double attack power or double defense power. I'm gonna do the double defense power, to be honest with you, because, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, we take a lot of hits. Are you sure? Yes. So now it turns our green clothes into blue clothes. Relax and close your eyes. Oh, yeah. Now you've got the blue clothes. Your damage will be reduced by half. Yes! I will now take you out. I believe you can go back in and if you wanted to switch it. I'm not entirely sure to be honest with you, but now... Yeah, now we can do, you know, double, uh, I'm gonna save and quit as well. Now, uh, na now we have double, double health essentially. So instead of 10, 10 hearts, we now have 20 hearts. Just like that. Just like that. So really, really cool, really amazing. I'm gonna go, um... Gotta head back to the... to the village now. Ah... Uh. <coughs> hmm. Let's see what our good old friend at, at the tele telephone booth has to say, because we really don't know what... What to do at this point? We know about going to the desert, but... What else is there? Let's see. Bring, bring. Hi, this is Oriva. In the Yarna Desert, which is located in the southeast of the island, you will find something called the Angler Key. Hmm. How much more obvious do I have to be? Bye, click. Well, that's, that's kind of a hint. But it's kind of not of a hint as, uh, as well, you know? There is something we have technically not checked out, that we can check out now. That's this area right right up here. This is the Dream Shrine. I want to go to sleep. And now we are in a dream. And we have these weird cre uh, creatures here that follow us. So you can defeat him like that, or you can use the Pegasus boots to destroy him. That's what I'm gonna- I'm gonna use. Easy. There we go. Oh gosh. Guardian Acorn reducing the damage I take my half, that means I'll have what? <laughs> it, will, it will only do fourth of a damage to me? Nice, got it. 100 rupees. So we could have gotten that much earlier, but as you can see, in order for us to progress, we have to destroy that. And this allows us to go up here and get the ocarina. You should learn to play many songs. So now we go. Now we have our classic item here, the ocarina. We will be using this much as we, we can to just play a bunch of songs. Well, there is someone that we know who can play some songs. Oh, look. It's Marin. 
You can sing, right? Go and pull out our ocarina. Well, we play pretty darn bad, don't don't we? Well, it's an ocarina, but you don't know how to play it. Marin, can you teach us? Hey, that's a nice ocarina you have there. Will you accompany me as I sing? Oh, well, Link just got it. I don't know how, how well he can do it, but okay. So, how do you like it? It's really touching, isn't it? Does it stick in your mind? Uh, yes it does. You've learned the Ballad of the Windfish. This song will always re remain in your heart. Please remember this song. You should play it every once in a while to keep it fresh in your mind. Nice. There you go. So, that is our, our first song here. You can see it looks like there's room for maybe two other ones. Anyway, let us head over to the desert area now, shall we? We gotta head all the way over here towards, uh, the Cuckoo Prairie and then further east Animal Village. That is where we're heading now, the Animal Village. Get exactly where where this is, but but if we look at look at the map, it'll give us a general idea. I believe it's like maybe like over here. I think yeah, something like that. There's the stupid Richard's place. We don't like Richard. No, we don't. Not at all. Oh wait, wait. Maybe, maybe this is maybe this isn't is not the correct place to go. Let's say you, you can get kind of lost. You know, it's it's like such a big open area. Yeah. The, there you go. There we go. This is the right place. Yep, this is it. Okay, Animal Village in Martha's Bay. So the Animal Village is over here, huh? Well. Ugh. We can't really seem to do anything there, but... Secret bush. Oh no, there's like a, a weird shark thing. There we go, now we're on the other side. See what's over here. Let, let, let us explore a little bit here. We can't go. We can't go in the water. Nothing to do in the water. Oh, uh, can't 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 go in there. Oh, that was a fairy too. Darn. Oh well. Welcome to the animal village. Well, not quite yet. Not quite yet. Want to explore around just to, just a little bit, you know? Secrets are like water when it comes to bridges. Well, that sounds like there's a secret under the bridge, huh? Well, there's also a secret here. Another secret seashell. How many do we have now? We have a decent amount. I think we have 15? Now, there is no reward at 15. Yeah, we have 15. There was a reward at 5 and a reward at 10. So there's a secret under the bridge, huh? Well, Link can't swim. So... Dude, dude, dude. Please stop this, thank you. Thank you. 
Yeah, so Link, Link can't swim. He can't really do anything about that at this time. The, the Pegasus boots. Oh my gosh, I, I just love the Pegasus boots so much. I want to explore up before I go to Animal Village, too. Like, what is up here? Darn thing. Okay. Ah, this looks like a location we've technically been before, but... Eh, let us not explore the- Gosh, those things can, can move so fast. Let us not go up there anymore just, just yet. Sir? I need to get around you, thank you. Well, let's go ahead and head over to Animal Village. What sort of cute animals are gonna be at Animal Village? Let's see. Ah, <gasps> it's a bunny. Ah, sigh. Oh, such a nice day. We need a song from Marin. I have a song from Marin. Guess you don't like it. Oh, <gasps> it's another bunny. You're in a desert? There's a way to get there to the south, but you might not be able to get through if that lazy walrus is in the way. Oh no, there's a la lazy walrus? Oh gosh, we don't- we don't like la lazy walruses. Sir? Uh, yeah. I am Sosa Dun Dunvich. The mermaid statue by the bay is, is my masterpiece. To tell you the truth, this work is 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 not complete. The art, it's it's difficult for you to grasp, is it not? Go away. Go away. So let me let me tell you this. This is pretty disturbing. In the Japanese version of this game, the hippo is actually covered in a towel. She's naked, but she has like a towel wrapped around her instead of just, you know, being completely naked. And she has big boobs. And you can kind of see that through the towel. And occasionally she will stand up, take take off her towel, and expose her boobs. And that is, I guess, what he's drawing here. So, yes, that is in the Japanese version. <gasps> Not another bunny. Hey, did you know Animal Village and May Village are sister cities? Yes, even though they aren't large enough to be called cities. Anyway, I heard from a very good source that they have a dream shrine in Mabe, and that is a that is something good inside. Is that true? Indeed. So that's how you could find out how to go to the dream shrine. But I went there b beforehand because then we would have to go all the way back. Bird. This house looks and sounds familiar. You don't know the proper etiquette when dealing with a lady, do you? You should have brought flowers or something. Then I might be more inclined to talk with you. Oh yes, in my case, hibiscus are best. This is very similar to that Mr. Wright fellow that we met, you know, very, very early on in the game. Same music that plays, and he also had a creature that was hopping around in his uh, apartment, I'm pretty sure, in his little house. Nope, nothing in there. Another bunny. Hey, bunny. I can't go to Mave Village because of all the monsters. I hope Marin is alright. Oh, Cute little bunny. Sir? Ho ho! Hey, you! Is that possibly a grandma's decapitated head you have? I just ran out. Were you swapping for a pineapple? Uh, no. <laughs> That's a crying shame, but I realize these are, these are rare delicacies. Yeah, indeed. Grandma's heads are indeed gr uh, rare delicacies. There we go. Yes, I will trade it for a pineapple. There you go, next part of the exchanging quest. It's sweet, but it is as, as it is delicious. Yeah, that tub of goo is asleep right in the way of Yarna Desert. Once he's asleep, uh, he won't he won't budge for a long time. But hey, take little Marin and wake him up with her song. That slob would wake up with a jump if he heard her sing for sure. Ha <laughs> ha. 
Uh, time to have some grandma stew. He seems like such a nice guy, but then there he is eating, eating a decapitated gra uh, grandma. You know? Oh, there's a teleportation thing, but we don't need that just yet. That's, I'm pretty sure, is the third and final teleportation area. So now we can go between them for quick transport. Between the three areas. Give me that. Thank you. Oh, there you are. Entrance to Yarno Desert. You fat sack of crap. Zzz, Marin. Oh, I have a song for Marin. Ah, so fun fact, Mr. Wright is from SimCity on SNES and is also an assistant trophy in several um, iterations of Smash Bros. Oh, I did not know that. Thank you for the, the insight there. I, I believe I, I remember va vaguely s s something about him being mentioned, but I, I did not remember what that was. I don't think we need- yeah, we can't do anything here yet. Let's just remember that for later, viewers. Listen to the cute music in the animal village. Well, I guess we gotta go get Marin now. He actually wants to see Marin. I guess we have to go actually get her. Come on, Marin. The music that plays in actually a melody from SimCity. Oh! That is good to know. So the SimCity music is playing in, in that area. In his, in his house. That's really neato. Okay, first things first. I need to buy some more bombs. I'm like running out here. Sir, I would love that bow, but it's like way too much money right now. Bombs? How much do I have? I'll get like one more stack. One more stack, there you go. Sir, do you realize that you are selling bombs? Do you realize how, how bad that is? I mean like, what in the world are you doing here? Okay, Marin. Marin! Where are you? Marin? She likes to go stare at the ocean all by herself. Why? Hey, I'm just a kid. Don't ask me. Marin, why now? Why now? Out of all the times when we actually need need you, you're not here. Ugh. Can't stand you, Marin. I guess we gotta go to the beach, but there's actually something first here. I know that I can steal- oh yes, I, I have stolen from his shop. I have stolen, but then our name is changed to Thief, so we cannot do that. We cannot do that. There we go, you gotta hit it from that side. And you get a secret seashell. If you don't hit it from that side, obviously you saw it did not work. You gotta hit things from certain angles. Alright, Marin, we are now coming down to the beach. Better be here, woman. Oh, the monkey. Darn you, monkey. I want to kill him. I bet we get something good if we kill him. Kill this fool. No! Is there a way to ki uh, kill him? I have a feeling that there is a way, but it's so hard. 
Oh, I don't know if there is a way. I kind of like charge that in there. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if we actually can kill him. Yeah, I don't think that we can. He's just a sack of crap. Maybe if we had that bow and arrow that the uh, shopkeeper man has. Fifty rupees, huh? Very nice. Thank you. Well, we're heading out of the this area. What's this? Hmm. It's just like an old abandoned crusty house. Remember that for later, viewers. You. Oh, Link. I'm glad you found this place. Will you stay and talk to me for a while? <sighs> I got better things to do, Marin. Oh, okay. I'll just watch the waves for a while. Hmm, okay. Bye. <laughs> now, we, we... 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 We're, we're gonna enjoy our time with... With her, yes. I wonder where these coconut trees come from. Terran says there is nothing beyond the sea. But I believe there must be something over there. When I discovered you, Link, my heart skipped a beat. I thought this person has come to give us a message. If I was a seagull, I would fly as far as I could. I would fly to faraway places and sing for many people. If I wish to the windfish, I wonder if my dream will come true. Hey, are you listening? Link, are you listening to me? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm not gonna be rude to her, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna say yeah. I'm curious though. Yeah. I want to know everything about you. Ugh. Ah. Ha ha ha. Huh? The walrus wants me to go to him? It doesn't matter. I will go with you to him. Yes! We got Marin. This- is this your big chance? Yes! Let's go, Marin. Let's go. Let's destroy that monkey. Oh, look. Marin, destroy these things for me, please. Mr. Krabs. Oh, what is this? An empty room? An empty room. Why would they have an empty room in a place like this? You know, that's just... just awful. Even she does the same thing. Did you see, did you see that? Alright, look. Watch her bounce. <laughs> it's funny. So, what we want to do, we want to come over here. This is my first walk with you. Link. This cliff will be our, our secret place. Aren't you going to say something? Link doesn't talk, you should know this. Oh, how I love pictures. Why don't you take a picture when no one is around? You can call it... There we go, she snapped a photo. The little mouse character. I'll go develop this. Come see it later, okay? There we go, we got another photo. We can get a lot of... We can get a lot of photos when we're with Marin. We 
it. Oh, wait, wait, give me that. Okay, thank you. I must get all of that stuff. Dude. Hey! Where are you two going together, huh? Mmm, I don't, like, mean anything. I'm just a kid. Yeah. We're on a date. Wish you had a date, kid. All you could do, all you like to do is play with your balls. That's all you like to do. The mouse is just waiting for us. Hi. I'm the photographer. What a great photo moment. I'll call this heads up. Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay, Link? Bye, bye, mouse. Wonder what uh, Marin thinks of our ocarina skills now. Oops. Not very good, eh? What? Did I say something? No, you're 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 hearing things. I bet you don't like animal abuse. No! No! Poor hen! Stop that! We will keep do you're doing it, Marin. You won't stop us. There we go. Just keep doing it. Just keep doing it. Marin, I'm not gonna stop. Not until this hen is destroyed. Keep going. Keep going. Yes. The hen's almost dead, Marin. The hen's almost dead. Ha ha ha! Do it! Do it! Do it more! Ha ha! No, it's nothing. I didn't mean it. There we go. So she got she got um consumed by Satan. And you know, uh yeah. So I believe that I I I kind of mi missed it here, but I believe there there would be a note in here from Marin before we picked her up that said that she's at the beach or something, but we also got that information from the kid. Oh, oh. Oh, I've sure lost my taste for honey. It's -a me. Link, do you always look in other people's drawers? Kind of. <laughs> kind of. Ah, oh, ah, oh, you are a bad boy, Link. Ooh. He's got some nice things to say. Oops, I don't want to want that. Great! Dig it! Dig it to the center of the earth! Oh yes! Oh yes! You are wild, woman! Woman, you are absolutely crazy! Let's go play a trendy game. Wow! Link! Can, can I- can I try this? What do you say? Okay. Okay, let's see how good she is compared to us. Oh no, Marin, what are you doing? Marin, you've captured the ultimate prize. A dork with glasses. You're good. You're a pro, aren't you? Well, beat it. Pros aren't allowed in, in here. In here. Uh, Marin, you got us kicked out of the trendy game. Gosh, you're so annoying. But Link loves it. Hey, kid. Hey, where are you two going together, huh? Hmm. <laughs> it's -a me! Hey, Marin and Link. Are you taking pictures? 
You should take pictures of everyone. Including me, Mario. I use this to take pictures. Are you ready? Okay, say, say mushroom. Okay, I'm done. I'll go home now. It's -a me, bye bye. Nice. Here sleeps the flying rooster. Hmm. I don't trust her in the shop. She's kind of a... She just seems like kind of like a bad girl, you know? She just does. She's just like doing all this bad stuff. Okay, I guess it's time to head back to Animal Village. Yeah, we were having all those interactions there with the mayor, and there's actually one, actually technically two, two more. There's one here. Hi ho, little Marin. Welcome. Oh, shucks. You are here to. Sorry. Oh, what are you two doing? You are you eating gr grandma decapitated grandma heads? Hmm. There is one more interaction you can have with Marin, and that is if you come out of a dungeon when you're almost dead, I guess she will say something, or maybe she will... I don't know, maybe even she she will heal you and give give you a kiss. I don't even know. I, I, I have no idea, but I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna waste, waste my time getting all low on health and coming out of a dungeon. I don't know exactly what's gonna happen, but that is another interaction that you can have with Marin. And I believe that is all of them. So I've shown off all of them except for the one. Walrus, you fat sack of garbage. Yes. It's, it's that lazy walrus. Shall we give him a little surprise? No. You're right. It would be mean to wake him up now. Let's just let him sleep for some more. Yeah, just let him sleep for a little bit more. You know. Actually, we we have to wake this fat sack of crap. We gotta get him moving. He has to burn those calories off. Oh, your voice, it's hideous. I have to get out of here pronto. Oh gosh, my head. There's something wrong with my head. This keeps bobbing up and down. I'm trying to get out of here, but I'm like stuck to the ground because how fat I am. Oh, I died. Ah, wow. He certainly woke with a start. Huh? Oh, he's calling me. It's the same as always, ha. Huh? Link, I'm going to the animal village. Please drop by, okay? Let's drop by immediately. I want to drop by immediately. Isn't that sweet? Oh, Link. I often come to this village to sing too. It seems that just about everyone loves my Ballad of the Windfish. Link, what is your favorite song? It seems to be totally absorbed in Marin's song. I guess that's what they're all going to say. Look at that. All the animals love it. You got like birds, you got three bunnies. Isn't that so cute? Bye, guys. Alright, time to finally head into the desert. We've been waiting a long time for this. So make sure that we fill out as much of the map as we can. Yep, so, so far, so good. Oh gosh. Nice, now we're gonna be even more powerful. Right here. 
We got some dust on it. Ah, yes. That dust was so refreshing. Even though you're literally in sand, but okay. For that, I will tell you a hint. Use a bomb in a place where the sand swallows you. There is a treat on the other side of the wall. Bye! Really? Thank you for the hint, sir. Sea bears foam. Sea bears dreams. Both end in the same way. Crash. Hmm. An empty room. Annoyance! You are only getting in the way. For boss time! Wow! Just don't fall down into the, in, into the sand here. That's right. Give me that. Oh no, I fell down. You've got the angler key. Oh look, this is the room that we were ju uh, ju just in. Hmm. There it is. That's the secret the skeleton man was telling us. Thank you, Mr. Skeleton. Peace of heart. Very good. Very good. Alright, let's head out. How much of the map we have we completed? Okay, we've completed a decent portion of the map. What's up here? Oh, it's the owl. <laughs> Hoot. The shape of the key shows a fish swimming up a cascade of water. Go now to the mountain waterfall. A leap from the top, and you will reach your goal. Okay, so he's given us a hint as to where to go. Okay, I, I do want to go back into the desert area here. I want to go up in, that, in there. How do we get up there? I see it, I see it. A little bit hard, hard to find. Right down here. Let's see, what do we have? What do we have? Hmm. Well, another secret seashell. Collecting a lot of these. Very good. Very, very good. Alright, so now it's time to head to the waterfall area. We know exactly where that is because we were there at one point. We saw the key. That was, that was, that was there. All we got to do now is just put that key in and enter the dungeon. And we can use our shortcut Hey, Marin. Bye, bye, Marin. All right, we can go straight there using our shortcut. Love these shortcuts. It makes it so much, so much easier now. Yes. There we go. I think it was over here. No, it was the other way. There it is. Alright, that's our next dungeon. So, the owl said, 
A leap from the top will, will get us there. Which means we're gonna have to just climb up that mountain in order to actually get to this dungeon. Wow! I love that cat noise that they make. Wow! <coughs> hmm. hmm. Nothing up here. You yeah, can't really do anything. We're up on the mountains now. This is like the furthest up you can go, I believe, right? We're at the very top. Yeah, we're at the very top. Piece. I want that. What a weird object. Uh, yeah. You're telling me. We can't get to that. There's no running and jumping that'll get us to uh, that, unfortunately. Hmm. I want that heart piece, though. We can't get this, this one, though. 50 rupees. Wow, look at us. We're almost at being able to get that bow and arrow. <gasps> it's you. Remember, this is this is the uh, father of that kid that we gave the Yoshi doll to at the very beginning, saying he's going to be lost on the mountains later. And sure enough, he is lost on the mountains later. Actually, first of all, it's over here. <coughs> I don't think we want to go there just yet. Oh no. You're- it's Richard taking his revenge from his slime hole. Dude, what the heck are you doing up- up- up here, man? Yep, Papa got lost, just like he said. Now I am famished, I can't move. Can you give me some vittles? No. <laughs> You're one cold hombre. Okay, we will say yes. <coughs> yes. This pineapple is so delicious, I'm going to eat the pineapple right now. Bon appetit. Ah, this isn't meant to be a reward. Here, take this hibiscus. We know who wanted the hibiscus, but I'm not going back back there just yet. Delicious, yum. I'm filled with energy now. Dude, you are wild. You've lost your mind, sucker. And you're gone. Just like that, it's gone, he's gone. Can't do anything there. Oh, this looks like a place to jump down. There it is. This is a way back up, I believe. Yep. I'm not gonna do that because then we can't can't get back. You know what? I I I, I think if we push the rock, it'll. I think it'll just respawn. Yeah, it does. Okay. A lot of those things are like that. You, it's not ever permanent. Alright, next dungeon. A level 4, Angler's Tunnel. And listen to the music here. It's just a standard, like, cave theme. Kind of, eh, boring kind of music. I'm gonna save. Alright, let us proceed with this d d dungeon. As you can see, there's a lot of water here. So, I think we know what, what, what the theme is. Thank 
Thank you. You get off me. Thank you. Oh, there we go. Compass right away. A lot of tre treasure chests right away as well. Got a key. But we cannot swim. Link tries to swim, but he just cannot swim. I think there's a lot of places to explore here, a lot of different things to look at. Oh, another chest just out in the open. Ooh, the stone beak, huh? All we need now is the map. And then we literally have practically every, you know, major thing here. There's the owl statue. Just like that, we got it all. I mean... Okay, let's take a look. Yeah, look at, look at that, it's... Seems like a relatively small and straightforward dungeon here. No, 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 no. Darn you, Link. Let's be jumping. Jumping and dumping, let's go! There you go. Boop, 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 boop. I know, I know. I put a bomb down already, sir, 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 sir. I need also you, sir, to go away. Thank you. Nice. Give me all these keys. Now, at the beginning, yeah, we probably should have gone to the left at the beginning. I think I may just want to go back and just pick pick whatever is up there. Let's see. Okay, looks like there really wasn't anything over there. That may have been a waste of time. Yeah, it's just bombs. But we do need bombs. Let's see how much. Is it 10? Oh, that was, that was like perfect, so... Like perfect. And we can't do anything else there, though. Unfortunately. Sir, I am not messing with you. Look how fast we can run. Link loves running so fast. Except when he doesn't jump in time and falls down 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 a hole. There you go. There you go, Link. Darn P P hats. They're, like, invulnerable for a brief period of time until they land. There you go, sucker, land. There you go. Okay, here's another, uh... Something else we can use here. Oh, this this fairy. These, these darn fa fairy things here, too. I mean, so far this this dungeon has really not there's really not been anything here, you know. I mean, it's just kind of it's just very like straightforward. It it seems so so far at least. Sir, so I'm gonna need you to just back off. There we go. Okay, so we're I mean, look, we we have a lot of chests left though. That is a thing that we have to do. Oh, hang on. Link is going to fall in the hole. Unless... Wow! <laughs> I caught that just in time! 
Okay, so now that we have some keys, we gotta go down there, it looks like. Oh, I, 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 I did the opposite of what I like, but oh well. I'm just gonna deal with it. See, if we had that special power, the... The red... Red... Tunic, we we, we could have done double damage to all of them if I killed them in like one hit. It would have been insane. It would have been absolutely insane. Link, you don't know how to swim, man, okay? So don't don't even try it. He's trying it, he's trying it. There we go. There we go, there we go. Okay, great. Sir, you, you, you gotta, gotta go, gotta go. There we go. Okay, so we actually can make, make this, we don't, it's, it's, it's kind of tricky. Kind of had to go like a little bit at an angle. Oh, that, definitely not that angle. Darn. There we go, we did it. Just for rupees though, 50 rupees, just get it a little early. Oh, and, and a fairy too, nice, thank you. Now, the, the trivia question is, can I make it back? Oh, nope, nope, nope. Nope, okay. Solves that answer. Oh gosh, both of them. We can't have both, so just keep the, a piece of power. Yes. Oh yes. Okay, great. Let us now run across this this gap, li Link. Link. That's right, we don't have any of that. There we go. Just like that, a piece of power is gone. Let's see what's over. I don't know what that enemy is. Let's see what's in here. Hmm. There's a bunch of water. We can't again. We can't do anything with with water. So let's not mess with that yet. I should almost have enough for for the bow. It'd be amazing. No, the key! The key fell. So we need to find out where that key went in order to pick that sucker up. Mr. Mr. Wise, Wise Old Owl, what do you have to say? The glint of the t tile will be your guide. The glint of the tile, huh? Hmm. Oh, I don't want this. I don't want that. Let me just jump over it. Ah, oh, no. Well, we still got it. Nice. There you go. Yeah, yes. Ah, oh, you slime ball. There's multiple ways to go here. That's, I think this this just leads to the yeah that leads to the to the boss door. Can't do anything with that yet. We don't even have the boss key. No, my, my uh, rupees. Oh, another small key. Good. Hmm. Okay, 
let's take a look. So there's a few more rooms, a few more areas to go here. We gotta go another place that has a small key for us to use. Move it, move it, thank you. Ah. Oh. Give me that. Thank you. Get out of here, man. Come on, man. Hmm, I see a key there. On top of that switch. Can't do anything with that just, just yet, it looks like. But there was a, a door up here, I believe. Yeah, here it is. Get off me! Slimes. Richard put you up to this. D didn't he? <gasps> For boss time! Dude, you, you were easy as heck. Get a life. Give me that fairy. Thank you. Oh, it's closing in on us. Make a run for it, Link. Hurry up. Yes! Darn you, slime! You're messing me up with these darn things shooting at us. Ah, yes. There we go. You got the flippers. If you press the B button while you swim, you can dive underwater. So there we go. This is not an item that we equip. This is just an item that we have. So now, finally, finally, we can swim. Sir, sir, please. Thank you. So, as you can see here, the glimmer will lead, lead, lead the way, or whatever the owl said. That's it. Say middle, top, there you go, and then it goes cl uh, clockwise, and that, and that's your hint. There was another room that had that in there, if you remember. Like we can dive under water. So why don't we head to that room? That had that. Yeah, this was it right here. So the reason you need you need the flippers for this is because you cannot jump on these tiles. You just you just walk over them. So in order to walk over these, you need the flippers. Darn. There we go. Oh, I went the wrong way. It's okay, it's okay. Now we have the boss key. Okay, good. That means we're closing in on the end here. Looks like there's one chest left. Pretty sure it's going to be, yeah. I, I remember it being like right here. Yeah, there it is. Let's go pick that up first. Nice. Rupees. 50 rupees. We're almost maxed out on a rupees. It's going to be incredible. What we can almost buy. Almost by the bow and arrow. Alright, looks like this is... This is gonna be it. And as you can see, the map looks like a fish. Like, like it's like pointing down. I, th I think a lot of the, the maps are... They look like what the dungeon's supposed to rep represent. So it's, it's pretty cool. Hmm. Well... There was that one key, remember? That one key that fell down that hole that one time. Right up here. 
This one. How do we go down there? How do we get that? Hmm. Well, right over here, there was a pool of water. If we remember. There it is. So now, time to head to the boss. For boss time. With full health. We can just go underwater and avoid them. Okay. Oh no, cheap cheeps. Cheap cheap. I don't... Is it, is is that what their na a, a name is? I know that they look different from the other type of cheap sheeps, but I'm not... Yeah, I don't... I don't know. They're, they're, they're some Mario fish. Here we are. Now time to take on the boss. Huh. I guess the boss isn't here. S sir? Sir? So we gotta go underwater. Oh no, the boss is a fish, isn't it? That's right, it's an angler fish! Just like the name of the, the dungeon. Bloop. Bloop. Glub. Glub. Ah, oh, food! Bloop. Glub. Wow. Oh gosh. He's making rocks fall. Easy boss. My gosh, you're easy as heck. Nice. Give me that instrument. Yes! The harp! You got the surf harp. Yes, another dungeon down. Bay. Your road goes into the bay. So it's like another, it sounds like another water area. Now that we can swim. Look at this. We can finally go out here. <gasps> Bunch of fishies. <gasps> Hello, sir. I am Manbo, child of the sunfish. Have you got an ocarina? Yes. Aha! Then I can teach you my song. Bloop. Oh! Here we go, our second song. You've learned Manbo's Mambo. When you get out of the water, play it. Actually, I'm not going to play it. Basically what that does, um, let's take a look. There you go, there's our second one. If you remember, near Crazy Tracy, where we picked up the potion, it was a little pond there called Manbo's Pond. Pretty sure that just teleports you right there. So that is the purpose of his song. There's one more thing I want to get before we end this part. Right over here. Hmm, just an empty room, huh? There you go, we got a piece of heart. And now we collected another one for another heart container. So look how many hearts we have now. Alright, so I'm just going to head back to the dungeon. I'm going to save it there and we will continue 
next time and see what the Bay Area offers. There's got to be something crazy going on. Let's see the instruments. We have half the instruments now. Half the instruments. And we're all good to go. Hmm. Alright, good, good place to save. Alrighty. So, we will see what next time brings.